If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Take a look at my record, man. When I marched in the civil rights movement, I marched with tens of thousands of others. He had not actually marched during the civil rights movement and kept telling the story anyway. I came out of the civil rights movement. I was one of those guys that sat in and marched and all that stuff. Now his aides went back to say, look, he was in office marching for the idea. That's not the word marching <laughs> means. On Twitter. I was not out marching. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. They're gonna put you all back in chains. And you ain't black. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. You ain't black. You ain't black. You ain't black. You ain't black. The most racist thing a person could tell me is that I'm supposed to choose something based on my race. You ain't black. Contrary to popular belief, I'm black, but I'm not voting for Joe Biden. I'm voting for President Donald J. Trump. I saw a joke of Joe Biden's comments on The Breakfast Club, and I'm, I got so many emotions, so many feelings right now. The first one is just anger. You know, it's 2020. We're in the middle of this pandemic, and this guy, because he's trying to win an election, comes out and says that if I'm supporting Donald Trump, then I'm not black. Like, who the hell are you? You don't even know where I'm from. You didn't walk a day in my shoes. You didn't grow up what the way I grew up in the inner city of Brooklyn, New York. You didn't see my mother struggle. You didn't see me have to work hard to get through high school, get through college and make something of my life. For you to come out here and then just say that because I support Donald Trump that I'm not black? Man, the hell with you, Joe Biden. Vice President Biden, with all due respect, your latest comments are both pathetic and hurtful. Your quote, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, you ain't black. Well, I think that in civil discourse, we can have our disagreements on politics. But you challenging me and millions of other people out there on their blackness, descendants of slaves from you, is some seriously condescending, out of touch bullcrap. You're embarrassing yourself, Mr. Vice President. Should you even be running for president in the Democratic Party that says they're for black people? Do you really believe that black people are owned by the Democratic Party? Do you really believe that a black person who doesn't vote for you is therefore not legitimately black? Have you forgotten the Republican Party was started in opposition for a Democratic Party that thought it was okay to own people? I am a man, Mr. Vice President. Too many people have died for me to have the right to think and vote for myself. But I wonder if Senator Peters agrees with you. I bet he does. When I get the chance to debate him, I think I'll ask. You should think long and hard about what you said and what it means. And also, your use of the word ain't. You should also make sure you carry hot sauce in your purse next time. Joe Biden, your comments disgusted me today. Black America has been fighting stereotypes that we all have to speak a certain way, that we all have to act a certain way, and that we all have to vote a certain way for years. You said if we don't vote for you, we ain't black? Who are you to determine who's black and who's not? Who are you to determine blackness? You do not get a pass from racism just because you're an old white liberal. You showed your true colors today, sir, and you lost a lot of black America today. Thank God. Really, all Joe Biden did was say the quiet part out loud when you think about it, because I voted for Trump in 2016. I'm going to vote for him again in 2020. Call me a satisfied customer. I mean, I didn't buy anything, but I mean, I guess taxes. I did buy something technically or I was robbed. I don't know. Anyways. um, <sighs> Yeah, like this. A narrative that the left is entitled to votes from people that look like me and that we should be happy with whatever garbage candidate they can fish out of the 
I don't know, dumpster behind the DNC, like we should be happy with and take it because it's not Trump. You have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black 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 and you ain't